watch enthusiasts welcome to the video just thought i'd film it on our balcony see how we get on out here got the lovely backdrop of the burj khalif um today i wanted to talk to you about my rolex gmt i've had it for a year now and i want to do a yearly review and uh let you know my thoughts on how i'm enjoying it how i'm getting on with it also quick mention if you want to win a mission to pluto mission to saturn um all you got to do is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment also if you could follow my instagram the details of that are below and then you'll be eligible to win one of these watches really beautiful watches and um, it's just a bit of fun help grow the channel gonna give one away in october one away in november and then if these competitions are popular and you guys like them then i'll keep doing them let me just quickly show you but that's the mission to saturn very nice and then this is the mission to pluto this is my favorite out of the two i really like that red so yeah like subscribe follow the instagram channel also i thought i'd just quickly mention before i go on to the uh Let's take this out so we can all see it. This is what we're talking about today. Do you know what? The weather here is so crazy. That is so humid and hot that the uh, it sort of steams up a little bit. Dubai is crazy hot. It is crazy. If you don't like the heat, this is not the country for you. Luckily, it's all like air conditioned and fairly convenient. And we're in late September now, so it has cooled down a lot, but it's not cool. It's still roasting. So let's get the GMT on the wrist. I was wearing the old uh, Starbucks, I think the nickname for it is the Starbucks green bezel sub. Let's get this on the wrist. Okay, here we go. So the review of this watch. Well, I think this watch out of all my watches is kind of my favorite to wear in terms of like if i'm going out this is the one i want to put on because it's you know it's full gold it's got that beautiful delicious bracelet with the polished center links um it's just an absolutely stunning piece um i really like the fact that rolex has made a full gold jubilee bracelet because before it was really just full gold they didn't do a full gold jubilee bracelet they did it in the other bracelets the presidential bracelet and the um, oyster bracelet so yeah i'm really enjoying it it is not a watch for everyone and do you know what like if it wasn't for the fact that i live in dubai now and if it wasn't for the fact that you know, I, I quite often go to go on holiday to resorts that are very safe. You know, maybe I wouldn't have bought it because um, if I was just living in London, I just don't see that many opportunities to wear it. I am grateful that, you know, I have it and I'm grateful that I have opportunities to wear it because it is a stunning piece and I really do enjoy it. It's, do you know what? With all solid gold pieces, I love the weight. To me, the weight just, it feels like, you know, just feels so quality. And it's kind of deceptive to the eye because you, you see a watch, you pick it up and you think in your head it's going to weigh a certain amount. And then, and then you realize like, oh, wow, that's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. And with platinum, it's even more so. I don't have a platinum watch, but one day. So yeah, I really, really enjoy full gold pieces. And this, this watch, uh, when you wear it, this is the watch I wear that probably gets the most compliments um i think because it's just so obvious but i was getting my hair cut the other day and i was wearing it and uh you know the couple guys in the barber shop complimented it and when you're walking around the mall sometimes you'll see people's eyes divert towards it yeah it's a watch that you don't wear it if you're trying to fly under the radar that's for sure. Yeah, it just it wears really nicely. The Submariners are just such a good size, obviously, and the GMT is the same because it's it's that same it's that same sort of size watch. 
40 millimeter or 41 millimeter, forgive me, I can't remember the exact millimeter of it at the moment. There is one thing I don't like about the watch. There's one thing and it's a very small thing, but when you go to set the date, it has the hacking hours, they call it. So you pull this out, let's wind it, and you pop that out. And then, yeah, each turn, it just automatically goes to the next hour. And what that is, but if you want to change the date, there's no pull it out another one and it changes the date. For the date, you have to just do this lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And so if it's like the 30th, if it says the 30th, but you want it to say the 29th, then you got to do a lot of turning. You'll go all the way around. But, you know, it's, yeah, it's a little bit annoying, to be honest. Um, I prefer on the subs where you just pull it out an extra one and then you can turn the, uh, the date independently of the hours. But, you know, that feature in itself does not stop my love for the watch so but yeah just so i'll just explain that again you pull it out and then this just changes the hours there's not you don't pull it out a third time and there's one to um change the uh the date i'm guessing this is for uh, this is a quick change the time for the pilots function because this is watch is obviously designed was originally designed for pilots hence why this bezel can turn in both directions so I'm guessing it's, it's so pilots, when they get to their destination, they can quickly change the time perhaps to what they want it to be. Um, because on the Submariner, to change the hour, you've got to do the minute hand, go all the way around. So I guess it's a quicker way of changing the hours, but it means if you want to change the date, it's quite long. Anyway, let's pop that back in. I just thought I'd uh, explain that feature to you because it is something unique to the GMT. One thing I thought I'd also show you is I recently just purchased this eyeglass just so you can check out the finer details of the watch. Uh, it's pretty, I have a play about with it. The only problem is I bought this off Amazon and from looking at it, I can see it's actually more designed for checking out diamonds, but Anyway, well, uh, it's just uh, when you've got watches, you want to really see the small details of them. And um, that's why I bought something like this. It wasn't expensive, but I might buy another one because I'm not sure. This is a bit more for diamonds, I think, this one. So, yeah, guys, I'm loving wearing this watch. Now, in the comments, some people ask me, how, like, if you don't mind me asking, how, how do you afford buying this stuff? And I've, I've, I've mentioned it in a few videos, um, but I'll, I'll mention it a little bit more in this video and maybe i'll make a, a specific video but basically like how can i afford to uh, have a watch collection uh like the one that i have and um it's basically i'm not a surgeon i'm not i don't own a law firm or anything it's basically back in 2017 i put a relatively modest amount of money into crypto i had a friend in america call me up and tell me about uh, this thing called Ethereum, which is like the second largest crypto. And uh, back in 2017, it was uh, about $30, $35 when I first started buying it. And um, today, as we're talking, it's uh, 2600 something like that. So basically, yeah, I, I bought crypto. I did well. And... Um, that's what's allowed me to uh, get into this hobby of watches. And, you know, and I love sharing it with you guys. But crypto is a minefield. I've probably made every mistake there is in the book. You know, I've, I've, I could have so much more money if I just did things a bit differently. I panic sold, I panic bought. I've round tripped my bags basically where it goes all the way up, didn't sell as much as I should have, it's gone quite far down and I've had to wait for the next bull cycle for it to go back up again. Despite all the mistakes that I've made, I've been, I've also been hacked. I had about £5,000 worth of Solana stolen from me. Yeah, I, I had some money on an exchange that went bankrupt. Crazy things. However, 
I didn't have all my money on that exchange. I had it on other ones as well. I had some of it on a, um, a ledger. So, you know, all these mistakes that I've made, they've still not stopped me from doing really well. One thing I've decided to do, and I'll, I'll make a bigger video about this, but basically, if anyone of you out there wants to talk to me about crypto one-on-one, uh, -on -one, um, we could set up a phone call. And basically, the point of it would be is if you're, it's for someone who's entry level, who's thinking about getting into it, but doesn't really understand it, it's got questions, and I'd basically educate you on the best way to go about doing it and how it works. Because uh, for those of you who don't do it, it can be quite scary, quite intimidating, but we live in the age of information. You know, it's all out there for you to learn but sometimes it's just hard to know where to look. And, um, you know, I've been in the space now for seven years, wow. So uh, I know where I get good information from. So yeah, I will, I've set up a website. It's called Crypto Insights Today. I'll include the link in the description. And um, if you guys are interested, feel free to check it out. And if you want to book a phone call with me, feel free to do that. I have, there is a modest fee for the phone call. So just so I don't get people that aren't serious. Um, and also, you know, it would be nice to have a little consultancy thing going on. Again, uh, it's very modest fee, 75 pounds. So yeah, if you guys are interested, have a look. But um, crypto is not for everyone. Definitely crypto is not for everyone. You know, some people don't like high risk things. And to me, Bitcoin it isn't risky to me. It's volatile, but it's not risky because I believe it is the future and it is uh, going to get more and more widely adopted. We're at a stage now where uh, sovereign wealth funds uh, funds that manage the wealth of countries are now buying Bitcoin. It's sort of broken through that glass ceiling. It's onwards and upwards from here. Anyway, I'll stop there. We'll do another video. Um, but going back to the gold GMT, it's a beautiful watch. Look at that. I'm actually sweating. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sweat on my arm. That's how hot it is out here and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, I hope the lighting is okay in this video and you can see the watch okay. But yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Like, subscribe, give yourself a chance to win the watch. If you're interested in crypto, check it out. If not, don't worry about it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.